The 36th Marines of the Ukrainian Army captured a soldier of the Russian Army in Volchensk town. Thus, the Russian soldier himself approached the Ukrainian fighters and said that he surrendered. Before surrendering, the Russian soldier lay down on the ground and waited for Ukrainian fighters to approach him. Earlier, several of the captured soldiers said they had been forced into the Russian army due to financial or legal trouble. Food and water were limited, and often, they had to buy supplies with their own money. Some said they had received as little as one week of training before being sent to the front. Almost all the prisoners said their units had suffered severe losses during attacks against Ukrainian positions. Many complained about the leadership of their officers, who, they said, did not participate in the costly assaults. Last week, Nazar Voloshin, the spokesperson for the Kortitsia Regional Command, which is responsible for ground operations in the area, claimed that, close to 60 Russians, were captured in a single day of combat. Putin's peace conditions are Hitler-like. He demands territory from Ukraine comparable to Israel. Kremlin ruler Putin, in his peace proposal, demanded that Ukraine give up territory comparable to that of North Macedonia, Slovenia or Israel. Expert of German build media outlet Julian Rupka writes about this. According to him, if Ukraine agreed to Moscow's conditions, it would give it a territory of 26,000 square kilometers, which could take the Russian army decades to capture. He calls it unconditional surrender. Putin's words are more a cry of despair than a proposal that should be taken seriously. He knows that Ukraine will not be able to agree to this, since there is no reason to assume that it will lose the required territory in the fighting in the coming months and years, Rupka added. Putin said that he had a real peace proposal for Ukraine. It is that the Ukrainians must completely withdraw troops from the Donetsk, Lugansk, Zaporozhye and Kherson regions. Moscow also continues to insist on the demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine, demanding that the country abandon its aspirations to join NATO. Another condition is the lifting of all sanctions against Russia. If the peace proposal is refused, Putin added, Moscow's future demands will be different. President Vladimir Zelensky called Putin's words an ultimatum, which is no different from his previous statements. He will not stop, he said, comparing Putin's peace conditions to ultimatums given by German dictator Adolf Hitler in the lead-up to World War III. It is the same thing that Hitler used to do. This is why we should not trust these messages, Zelensky added. Ukraine's foreign ministry called Putin's plan manipulative, absurd, and designed to mislead the international community, undermine diplomatic efforts aimed at achieving a just peace, and split the unity of the world majority around the goals and principles of the UN Charter. Putin's comments contrast starkly with his Ukrainian counterpart's peace plan. Volodymyr Zelensky's 10-point proposal, outlined in November 2022, demands the restoration of the country's territorial integrity, under the UN Charter. He has also insisted that Ukraine regain the peninsula of Crimea, which Russia annexed illegally before the current war in February 2014.